Yo, what's going on, guys? It's your boy Timbo here, and it's time for an epic unboxing. So we got this, courtesy of eBay. Yeah. Um, and there's a bunch of packing peanuts in here, so I gotta be careful with this. I don't want to make a gigantic mess in here, even though it is kind of a gigantic mess. I guess we have to do it. It's fine. <gasps> Ooh. Okay. Okay. But get that. Get that last one off there. I said that over there. I almost threw it. I almost did. But then I'm like, yeah, that would not be a good decision. There's still one stuck. Get off there. All right. Now we got all of this bubble wrap to get through. But, eh, I gotta wrap tar it. And get this bad boy out. So, what we've got. Oh, it looks so sick. What we've got is this, man. This epic Bakugan Cubo pack. So, they're putting out a few more uh, Cubo packs. You know, so the cosplay Cubos, they did add one more. So, there is this double pack. Uh, it's exclusive to Target, and we've got the Drago-themed cosplay combo, but there's also a Nilius-themed cosplay combo, which is sick to see, so what? There's technically, like, three Darkest Cubos now? Uh, yeah, it's really cool to see. Imagine making just a Darkest Cubo deck. Well, got a little idea for, like, a kind of cool mono deck, but, uh, yeah, will I do it? Maybe? Who, who knows? Time will show. But... We got this. Look at the packaging for it. You guys already know I'm a sucker for graffiti. It's my favorite art style. And seeing that graffiti style cubo lettering right there looks so sick. Definitely big props to Spin Master for this. And also just saying Spin Master got their quarterly report recently. And Bakugan is doing really, really well. And really glad to see that, you know, like, keeping up the hype for Bakugan and such. Just Spin Master, if you're watching this directly, definitely focus on the cards because you can make even more bank and have a bunch more bank in your pockets because you have literally millions, millions of fans out here waiting for the cards big time to drop. And me included, you already know, like, if you drop them at any certain spot, even if you, like, drop them on your website, you already know I'll be putting it out here big time. I'll be like, go check out Spin Master's website. They got the cards there and such. This is just a metaphorical thing, because right now, at the current time, don't know about the cards or anything. But, yeah, definitely put big time focus on them, because it'll make you even more money, Spin Master, because we're all waiting for the cards, because we love the TCG. It's not Roblox that's doing it, even though Roblox and, Paw, like, Paw Patrol are awesome. It's not Roblox that's making it successful. It's the game itself that's making it successful it's paying for itself and also the, the tcg everybody waiting for the tcg because we want to see it for sure i'm just putting that out here because how are we run making his most recent video and i've thought about making a big time video getting into it if you guys want me to let me know in the comments because i definitely have no problem doing so but yeah man look at this pack it looks amazing loving the artwork for cubo there and cubo there it just looks absolutely sick so if you're looking for this pack, definitely check Target. It's exclusive to Target, and that means this Nilius cosplay combo is exclusive to uh, Target. And it looks so awesome, man, having the Nilius heads for the hat. That's amazing. But, yeah, definitely digging it. Hopefully they gave us some pretty good stats. But, uh, yeah, man, gotta check out the back. Just I love the graffiti style for this. It looks absolutely amazing. Uh, combo Legendary Battles. Uh, yeah, so, of course, coming with the two character cards, uh, accessories, gate cards, all that good stuff in the bottom gun. But, uh, yeah, man, and then also, there's the Best of Cubo pack. I don't know if I'll pick that one up, because I do have Trox and Pegatrix and also both of those cosplay Cubos, but if you don't have them, definitely look out for that pack. And there's also a DECA Cubo pack, man, like, Arliss DECA Cubo. <laughs> there's a DECA Cubo now! It's sick! But, yeah, man. King Cubbo, you know, you already know Lord Cubbo is so happy about this entire line. He probably loves it so much. Now having a deck of Cubbo as well. Like you can't tell me they didn't get inspired by, like, Lord Cubbo with the King Cubbo. Come on, man. Like, for real. Give that man his props. But, yeah, anyways, it is time to get into it. Lego. All right. Here we go. Boom. And get that out of there. This art is honestly so sick. I'm probably going to put this out to the side. I'll, I'll create something out of it, you know. Repurposing. I mean, you guys have already seen my ceiling. All my broken launchers and unused uh, Baku clips and stuff I put up there. But yeah, and of course the freaking cores yeeted out. Oh, no. Okay, I think I got them. But let's see here. Got to get the cards out. I'm going for the cards first because that's going to be the difficult thing to get out of there. Look at these cosplay cards. Are there any plastic strips? Well, yeah, there is a plastic strip on it. I mean, it's not needed. 
like I said, like they're, they're really not needed because the molds themselves for this plastic are going to keep the background in there. People are worried, worried about that. Like you just shouldn't be stealing. Like, yeah, don't, don't do that. And oh man, it's literally across the one head of Milius and, and at the bottom. Ah, uh, dang flabbit. All right, the way I'll do this is this time we're gonna get it from behind. All right, there we go. Boom. I got out of there. It looks so sick. Definitely digging that uh, Nilly Esteem cosplay cover. It looks so good. And yeah, hopefully today's the day where I'm gonna get caught up with the. Oh, dang. Caught up with the episodes too, because I know they've been dropping a lot of them. I'm just adulting and such so much. I haven't even had a chance to go and check out the episodes. And everything else I've been doing on my channel, you know, I mean, I've been putting out like six, seven videos a day for the better part of the, ah, oh, dang, strips. But for the better part of the last, what, <laughs> two, three weeks, so it shows I've been grinding like crazy, like insane, man. Honestly, sometimes I don't even know how I do it. It shows I just love it, you know, and when I say it keeps me sane, it literally does. But yeah, anyways, so put those off to the side. All right. All right, now getting into it. I think we got two, two gay cards with this. All right, so let's see. Yo, it's a, that's an exclusive combo one. That's sick. They put in, that's nice to see that they're putting in some new gay cards because we've been seeing the same gay cards big time uh, throughout a lot of these releases. So definitely Spin Master, hoping for like the next season because yeah, I'm pretty sure we're gonna have another season. Um, Definitely just put in a big variety of gay cards. So that way, even with a standard way, of playing the game, there's a lot of different diverse gate cards to get. But yeah, I mean, granted, there's a pretty good variety, but just seeing a lot of the same ones throughout uh, Geogun Rising. But yeah, man, Cubbo sitting there like, oh no, like, don't hurt me. I didn't do nothing to you, bro. But 300, 300, 100, 100, 200, and 600. So Dark is getting the biggest boost with this, and then Pyrus and Aqua's getting a decent one. All of them getting boosts, but definitely uh, benefiting Darkest, and also Pyrus and Aqua's getting pretty good boosts. And then we got another one here, man. Nice to see some new uh, gate cards being implemented. But 600, 100, 100, 300, 200, and 300. I sound like an auctioneer or something. Uh, let's go. 230, 230, uh, 250, 250, 250, 275, 275, 300, 300, 350, 350, 400. I don't know. Sound like the hottest rap album of 2021 or some crap. But yeah, Cubbo looking so cool right there. And Pyrus getting the biggest boost for it. But so cool to see that. Coming with exclusive gate cards even. That's nice to see, man. All right, so now we gotta get into the Bakugan. So we got the Pyrus cosplay combo here, looking like Drago. Got the Drago hat right there, which is of course like similar to like a Baku gear, um, you know, like having the port right there, which is so so sick. Really innovative way to use the uh, Baku gear port right there. But yeah, man. So of course the Drago outfit, the arms out. All that red and such. The Drago horn right there. Just looks so awesome and so adorable for sure. But its B power is 600. And I think it is a double uh, regular fist. So, yeah, it's getting up to like 850. Uh, yeah, not the absolute strongest. But, I mean, I always use those as like traps. And then maybe like put in a shield or something. Or even like a magic shield. If you use a magic shield with it, it's at 1250. And that's really, really strong, man. So, yeah, they're making you really think about your strategy with the cosplay couples, but if you set them up the right way, they can be strong. No doubt about it. Definitely this wave was to be a big-time boost to couple. But let's see here. Put those arms down, and then the body in, and then, uh, yeah, I forgot the ears. Dang it. Here we go. Let's see. Well, I got to take that off real quick. All right, got the ears and the body, and there it is, man, Pyrus. Oh, wow, it is. I know. I'm not closing my ears. Keep those out. All right, there we go. But Pyrus cosplay combo in the ball form looking so, so cool. Pyrus uh, faction logo right there. And yeah, man, really glad that they did this cosplay combo because I think we we're supposed to get a Pyrus combo, but it was a part of uh, the the uh, the last wave for Battle Planet, I believe. Yeah, for Battle Planet and uh, kind of got scrapped, but at least they brought a Pyrus combo with this, which is really, really cool to see, man. Definitely enjoy that they actually made it a reality. But yeah, dude. So we're going to put that on there. And let's see if I can actually get the opening action for it with the helmet on. You know, with the actual hat on. Uh, let's go. No. <laughs> Yeet. Oh, I got it. Yo, that was sick. It didn't stay on the gate card, but heck. I'll count it. I'll count it. That counts. That was, that was sick. All right. So, so cool, man. 
yeah, Pirates Cosplay Cubo looking so, so adorable. So, of course, I had to get into that one first because that's the one that we have seen uh, before. But now, we've got this bad boy. I guess do a little bit of zoom in with this. Yeah. All right. So, it is the darkest cosplay couple. Well, the second darkest cosplay couple. The third darkest couple that we've gotten. But the Nilius version, man, he's looking menacing. You, you already know. Like, Magnus is Nilius. He has to look a little menacing. And he's got the teeth showing, too. He's not smiling like the other version. He's like, all right. I will make you all bow before me. You already know. I am the true lord of the Cubbos. Darkest Nilius Cubbo. Yeah. Don't mess with me. But it looks so sick having that Nilius cosplay gear. Looks absolutely fantastic, man. But yeah, I got the zipper, of course, because having the outfit on. But all that darkest black. Got the purple in the front, the silver. Even the detail for the zipper. That looks amazing, man. And then the Nilius hat right here. Uh, having the one right there and then the two right there. Green eyes, orange eyes. Just so, so epic seeing this, man. It looks really, really great. It's B-Power is 500, so... I wonder, if they give it, like, a magic shield that can break a 1,000, but if they give it a regular shield, still getting a 900, which is pretty decent. But, yeah, man. Um, And they don't have any Evos or anything, you know. It's just for the sake of, like, the cosplays. Uh, but, yeah, regardless, they diversify the game big time. And it just looks so, so sick, man. So, we got to see this Nilius hat for sure if I can get it off there. Uh, I got to figure out the way to, to do so. Oh, there we go. That's a big hat, bro. <laughs> all right so it goes over the ears and yeah you see the two heads right there looking so epic yeah that is that's a big hat he's trying to be styling and profiling for sure he's like i'm still your ruler you already know luke i am your father i don't know uh yeah boom boom and then ears in pushed body in that nose retracts in and there it is man darkest uh, cosplay Cubo Nilius version. Yeah, so, so sick. Now, let's see if I can actually get the opening action for this. Maybe. maybe. This is going to be a lot tougher even than the regular, uh, than the Drago one. What? Three, two, one. Speed! No? All right. Well, uh, yay! Oh, I did a face plant. Tried. All right, here we go. Yay! Mashed potatoes. Nah. All right, chicken tenders. Oh. French fries. Yes! Got it. Oh, I just had to say French fries. <laughs> that was sick. All right, just sliding in, man, like a baseball slide into home plate. But, yeah, it just looks so, so sick. Definitely loving how they did this cosplay combo line. Honestly, some people might not be the biggest fan of it, but I enjoy it because it diversifies the game regardless. Like, yeah, think about it. You know, if it's a background you don't really, really enjoy, or it's like, why? It's still a background that comes out and that diversifies the game, especially if it has potential to have some big-time power to switch things up. Because, I mean, you put a magic shield with either one of these, they can break a 1,000 for sure. So, yeah, it's just about the right way to uh, set it up. But now we got to see the character cards for them. Alrighty, so let's get into it. So let's see. We've got uh, Pyrus Cubo here. So we've seen this one before, but 601. If it lands on a shield, though, it gets the double strike. So, I mean, in this case, it's more beneficial if you have a shield. Um, yeah, so you'll probably want to, um, you know, like even just using the cosplay couples together, if you use the right ones, they can all benefit one another. But if not, in this case, maybe use both of these as traps. And if not, use them as traps. Uh, use them more like chaos because... I mean, use them in a regular fist deck, because Holy Flame helps out big time with some power. But if you want to go with the shield approach, uh, yeah, you can get the double strike with it if it lands on a shield. And if it lands on a shield, it's getting up to 1,001, so it's breaking 1,000. Uh, yeah, but, you know, with this, it'll get up to 750 and 3 or 704. Uh, but, yeah, so definitely you could just use those as traps. Like I said, um... The, the cosplay combos just working together in general. That's one cool thing about them is that they do this effect with them. So using multiple of them in one deck, they can honestly benefit one another. And it'll be really, really fun. But yeah, looking so, so sick though. Definitely digging that artwork. And then we've got this one, dude. Cubbo, Darkest Cubbo. It's got a shield and a flame fist with it. Also, I haven't shown off even the cores. I gotta get into the cores first. So for the flame fist, it's plus five. So big time damage. Uh, for the regular fist, 
minus three. That's a really nice trap core right there. Then other fist is plus 100. Aquas and Pyrus getting plus three. That's a really nice one. And then Chaos and Vent is getting plus 400 with this. I mean, it doesn't benefit either one of these two, but that's still a really, really nice core. But yeah, now getting back into uh, Nilius combo. Now, there's an interesting thing about this. You see how there's two different ones? Um, they have two completely different cores for the bonus. So imagine they do some other cosplays like this. I would honestly enjoy that. Um, yeah, if they have one like with a magic shield and the helix, and then it gets a bonus and it lands on like a, a regular fist or a flame fist, you know. Because uh, it's doing like a triangle thing, like how the regular ones do. And this is the first one we've seen like that. So does that mean we're going to get maybe more cosplay combos in the future i don't know but i mean it'll be cool to honestly see like a a, Tro a trox themed one a hydras themed one a pegatrix themed one honestly wouldn't mind seeing that like yeah and because uh, it'll just diversify the game in general for sure but yeah 505 so if it lands on a shield it'll get up to 905 if it lands on a flame fist it can get up to 750 and Eight, so big time damage with that definitely be effective in damage decks but also the effect with it if it lands on a magic shield it gets plus 200 you guys literally on a regular mat well on a magic shield in general it would get up to 1150 but then with that it's get up to 1350 and five and that is not bad at all that's some big time power breaking a thousand 1350 serious power with it it's just about how you set it up and then if it lands on a regular fist it gets plus two so that's the thing about this it could be really really diverse you know just depends on uh how you want to set it up it really makes you think about how you're going to use it in battle and this is a really really interesting case for that this whole cosplay couple line especially this one here because yeah having two different like the others we've seen like them have the same uh shields up there or not the same shields like the same cores up there and then have a different bonus but there's two different cores up here and then two different cores for the bonus so imagine they add more couples and do that uh, it'll make it where they benefit off and one another again big time imagine they make another one with like a magic shield and uh and a regular fist yeah it'll work well with this but yeah man just so so cool seeing that and that artwork for it looks amazing yeah all the buildings and such in the background looking so so cool but yeah guys anyways that is going to do it for this review on this absolutely epic Bakugan Geogon, I guess what, Bakugan Geogon Rising, maybe? Um, it doesn't say like Geogon Rising, but yeah, might as well say it because it's coming out during Geogon Rising. But Bakugan uh, Kubo Legendary Battles 2-Pack, looking so sick. Like I said, this is the only way you can get this uh, cosplay Nilius Kubo. And when I say it's worth it, definitely, man. I mean, it looks really, really sick. And if you're a collector, yeah. Heck yeah, I definitely re uh, recommend picking it up. But hope you guys enjoyed. If you did, be sure to slice that like button down below. Let me know how I did. If you're new to my channel, definitely be sure to subscribe for some epic, epic content because I upload daily. And if you haven't already, be sure to ring that bell by my channel name to be notified whenever I upload a video. So yeah, guys, until next time, it is your boy Kimbo signing off. See you guys later. Thanks so much for watching. Until then, stay awesome. And Bakugan Brawl. I'm up out of here. And just these two look like big time rivals. Like you imagine Dan just going into battle being like, hey, yeah, let's have some fun. And then Magnus going in like, no, battles are my life. They're not fun. Never. Well, calm down, bro. Jeez. Maybe I should do Bakugan skits. I mean, it's been something that's been in mind for a long time. It's just going to take a little bit of time to do so. Spoiler alert.